Dear Heavenly Father, so, so thankful for this wonderful, awesome study from Priscilla and how you laid it upon her heart to do such things. And I'm so extremely thankful for everyone who supported her to help teach us, to help give us something to learn by so that we can increase our relationship with you, so that we can increase our relationships with each other, that we can help each other, encourage each other, be there for each other, motivate and inspire each other. The ripple effect, Lord, it just takes one. It just takes one person. Just one to speak positive things over, over someone else. And I pray, Lord, that that ripple effect comes from these videos, through these videos, through all that you have taught me and laid upon my heart and that I have shared on each and every video. Be with us now on this last scripture in this book and our last scripture on relationships. And may we again keep you first and foremost, the center of our lives. May we come to you first, not last. May we remember to pray unto you before the anger, bitterness, frustration, lack of confidence, before all that even takes hold or sets in. May we remember to come to you first. Fervently on our knees in prayer, praying for every aspect of our lives, praying for every aspect of every person in our life, so that they may also see your blessings and your miracles on a daily basis. We love you, Lord, with all our hearts, all our minds, all our bodies, and all our souls. And we thank you for your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Guys, this has been awesome. This has been wonderful. This is the last scripture and the last chapter on relationships. I'll do a final video uh, when this one is finished. Just remember, the most important relationship is the one with God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. The one with your Lord and Savior who died on that cross for you. Passion of the Christ. You really need to pull up get the video, you need to watch it. It's very awesome. It depicts what happened in the Bible. It is just, it's amazing. That's all I can say. This video is Ephesians 3.10. His intent was that now, through the church, the manifold wisdom of God should be made known to the rulers and authorities in the heavenly realms. How many times, how many different videos have I told you guys? It is a spiritual warfare. It is between us and God. The angels on both sides, they're fighting each other. Go get the movie Immortals. Go watch even just the last 10 to 15 minutes. That visual will depict to you what it is that goes on between the two realms. The earthly realm, the spiritual realm, the heavenly realm. Okay, the spiritual realm is in between the earthly and the heavenly. Everything is batting up against that. Angels from both sides are fighting each other. Good and evil. Prayer is where it's at. Please join me and all the others who have been watching these videos. And just join together, unite together as one. Just unite agree to disagree but unite okay these these notes are pretty awesome this, <sighs> okay ephesians 3:10 very short to the point but awesome study notes the rulers and authorities in the heavenly realms are either angels who are witnesses to these events or hostile spiritual forces opposed to God. Good and evil. You have the heavenly angels 
fighting the fiery pits of hell angels. You have the good versus evil. You have the good guy fighting the bad guy. But with us standing in unity, with our relationship in the right order, God, Jesus, Holy Spirit, then your spouse, then your children, then your work, then your friends. But also remember, if God has called you to do a specific thing, you need to be obedient in that. You need to follow through. Don't leave till God says to leave. Because if you leave before, Satan has won. You want to get back at Satan? Unity in prayer. Hit him in the pocketbook. Start praying for each other. Put each other above yourselves. Hi, you pray for me, I pray for you. What is your request? What is your prayer? If it's a silent prayer, fine. We can do that. We can lift up silent prayers. God knows. He knows all the details. He's all knowing. I don't need to know everything. His wisdom. His knowledge. What he desires to come to pass. He passes to his angels. His angels pass to us. Makes it happen. It's pretty awesome. Like I said in one of the other videos, people are like, Lisa, why are you still smiling? Oh my gosh, you've been through such a traumatic situation. I got God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. What do they got? I have the Holy Trinity. What do they have? What do they have? They have Satan sitting back there in the garage, munching down on pretzels, drinking beer, eating burgers, and laughing. What do I have? I have God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. I have the Holy Trinity working in me through prayer, defeating him. Satan has no place in any of my relationships. And I have the Holy Trinity with me fighting against him, which pisses him off, makes him mad, gets him angry. Guess what? How about you join me in that unity and we piss him off together? Put him right back to where he belongs, in the fiery pits of hell. Because our God, our Lord and Savior, has already triumphed. He has already overcome the world. Together in unity, two or more, will be made known to the rulers and authorities in the heavenly realms. That's where the battle is, spiritual warfare, between the heavenly realms and the earthly realms. God's got it, but he's not going to force himself on you. You have to come to him freely. You have to accept his son as your Lord and Savior. All his words, his promises are right here, from Genesis to Revelation. The entire book, that's, that's all that is. Stories being told to you. So you can learn. People who have already overcome things to help you overcome yours. So as you go through here and God touches your heart and heals your heart, you just go share that with other people. Wow. You mean I don't have to study scripture and, and know it word for word verbatim and go beat people up with it? Heck no. Well, what does that prove? Absolutely nothing. It knows you're good at memorizing. That's what, it's, that's what it shows. Don't just talk the talk. Walk the walk. Come on, guys. Heavenly realms. We need to unite together. We need to keep our relationships straight. And the most important relationship you need to keep straight is the one with God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Because with Him in the center of your relationship, any relationship you have, that relationship will be blessed beyond compare. You will not be able to fathom it until you experience it. Once you experience it, leave your comments below. 
encourage others because of your relationship, your spiritual relationship, things that God shares with you. Most people think probably think I'm falling off the deep end. Relationships can't be better to sex better than sex. Oh yeah? Really? Hmm. Try it on for size. Here's one for you. I challenge you to have that intimate relationship with God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. So much so that you will be leaving a comment below saying how that relationship is so much better than any sex you have ever had. Yeah, I said the three-letter word. Truth. That's all I'm here to do, speak the truth. How do I know? I've experienced it. How do I know? God has never left me nor forsaken me. He has always been there for me and the children. The children may not know that right now at this moment in time and dealing with their own stuff, going through their own junk, just like I'm still going through my junk, but God is there, carrying them every step of the way, just as he will carry you. Remember, his plan and purpose for you is different than it is for me. His plan and purpose for your children is different than it is for my children. His plan and purpose for your friends is different than it is for my friends. May we just learn to agree to disagree and unite together as one and just pray for each other. Guys, I love you guys. I, I, I have been so blessed by the study that I, I'm just in awe. I can't believe that I was going to stop after 22, 23, 24, 25 videos, whatever it was that I had first done. That I was going to stop. I can't even believe that I was letting Satan toy with me on that. Knowing that that would have been disobedience to my Lord and Savior. How stupid that would have been. How much have you grown? Share. Comment below. That's what it's here for. Inspire, encourage, and motivate each other. Help each other with relationships. You need to pray for each other. You need to pray for each other's relationships. But you need to get your relationship right with God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit first. Without your life centered around them, no other relationships are going to work. Not the way they're supposed to, at least. I love you guys. We'll wrap this up in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. I just pray God is reaching out and touching each and every one of you in the way you need it. I pray that he is answering your prayers, your requests. See you on the next video, guys.